this is the output, and this is the in. So this plug is this one here. See that? I'll make the X. And this plug is the other one, this one here. One end of the wire is in the mixer. I plug the plug in there. The other end of the wire is bare wire, this wire right here. It's coming over here, and it's got a ground, it's got a negative, and it's got a positive. This is my plug. My plug has got a tip, a ring, and a sleeve. So when I plug this in, the tip is going to touch this guy right here. See that? The ring is going to touch this, this, this one. And the sleeve is going to touch this. So the ground is the sleeve. And the ring is this point, negative, And the tip is the positive, because that's what it's touching. The signal is now coming from the console bus output. It is right here at this patch point. So if I plug a, a patch point in there, at the other end of that, I've got bus one output from my mixer. This plug over here represents the track one in. That's this plug. Now I am going to take, and here's my track one, and the wire that's coming from here has got a positive, it's got a ground, and it's got a negative. See that? And this wire is going to the A track. This wire represents this wire right here. This hole right here represents this hole. So you see the input is right underneath bus one output. I would like this signal to arrive over here without me having to put a patch cable in. When I put this patch cable in, it's going to spread these out and make a gap here. Can you see that? Okay, now let me just go back and write it in again. There's this little thing between these two. Right now, the signal is coming from my bus one out, got piano on it, and it comes in here. The positive comes down, goes across here, and is on this positive leap. Do you see that? Because it's connected here. The negative comes down, and it goes to this negative leaf, because it's connected here. Do you see that? Negative normal and positive normal, OK? Well, now, when I plug this in, it's going to separate this. And therefore, when there's a plug in here, these two leaves will no longer get the signal, because that mechanically, it just separated that. Do you see that? If I want to attach this wire here so that whenever I put a plug in, it does not interrupt the signal from going over to here. In order for me to put a cable in there and not stop it from going, you have to wire this to the positive leaf. Because when you put this plug in, it's going to take the signal away from the positive normaling leaf. I want this signal to go no matter what happens. So if I put this positive leaf there, that leaf there, and that on the ground, then no matter what I do here, this signal is going to continue. Now, over here, I want to break the normal. So guess where I'm going to put the positive leaf over here? Positive normal. So look at, see, now when you put a plug in here, it stops it. So it replaces it with the new thing. That's how you will wire your outputs normal to your inputs. It normals your output so that you can put a plug in the output and it'll still go to the normaled input. Or you can put a plug in that normaled input and it will stop the normal signal from getting to it and replace it with the new signal. And when you actually sit down and look at the plug, you'll see it looks just like that. You'll be able to look at it from the side and figure out which leaf is which. And the tip will pretty always be hot or positive. The ring will always be negative, And the shield will always be ground.